what, what the mate is talking about. What's up, family? As much as Donald Trump would have you believe that he's doing a good job, the American people largely disagree. The latest polls that came out last week shows that Donald Trump, your president, who's already historically unpopular, has seen his numbers drop once again. A survey conducted by Investors Business Daily shows that Donald Trump's approval rating is just 37% and it don't get any better. Reuters also conducted a study. They found that 38% of Americans thought that Donald Trump was a good leader, while 58% said, get him out of here. You don't know what the hell he's doing. Get rid of him before he sank us all. He's horrible. He's a liar. He's a thief. Get rid of him. Those are some of the things that they said. I didn't hear him say it, but I'm sure they said it. Now, Trump can take small solace in the fact that he has a long way to go before he can catch the worst record of a president, the worst approval rating ever. That distinction belongs to none other than George W. Bush, who at the end of his eight-year tenure had a mid-20s approval rating. Now, off the rip, listen up, you Trump supporters. We hate Trump just as much as y'all hated Obama. In fact, we hate Trump just as much as you guys continue to hate Obama. See, the difference is we hate Trump because he's a racist. You hate Obama because you're a racist. Yeah. And it's beautiful, man, when somebody can call you on your BS. Now, this dude, Donald Trump's approval rating, has been plummeting ever since he got in office, from his first day. First day he got in office. Everybody knew. It's like, how in the hell did that happen? How? Could somebody like that, somebody so crud, somebody so bigoted, somebody so disrespectful, so misogynist become the president of the United States of America? That was a time when American people put our best our brightest on the world stage and said, okay, only the best, only the brightest can become the president of the United States. This is somebody that we can say, okay, he represents us and we're proud of that. Nobody likes this dude. Nobody likes him. Nobody, nobody in the other, even Russia who he colluded with to become president, who fixed the election so he could get in office, they don't even like him. Nobody likes him. The American people don't like him. I'm talking collective. I'm not talking about that fraction of people that the racists that are out there that's trying to roll back the clock on civil rights and all that. I'm not talking about them who think they're something special just because of the skin they're in. I'm not talking about them. I'm talking about collectively, the American people. Nobody likes him. His staff don't like him. He got family members who don't like him. Babies don't like him. Dogs don't like him. Nobody likes this dude. Nobody likes him. That was a time when we put a premium on education in America. Well, you had to be sharp. You couldn't be the president of the United States of America. The number one uno. This is the best we got. This is our brightest. Our in front. 
You hear some of the things that come out of this dude's mouth? Dude is totally unrefined. No class whatsoever. No class. That he's the president of the United States? Dude need to be locked up for impersonating a human being. Serious, man. The things that he has done, the things that he's doing to America, this dude went in with a straight face and told the American people that he's going to get rid of the Affordable Health Care Act because it's not really affordable. So he came in and replaced it with something that cost a whole lot more money. He got rid of insurance for 20 million Americans. 20 million people. Y'all know how many people are going to die because of that decision he made? You know how many people are going to die? He put a plan, his budget, his tax plan, cut several programs that people count on that improve the quality of life for people, including veterans, senior citizens, the Meals on Wheel program, those people count on that program. He cut it like it wasn't nothing. He cut it. And this is somebody y'all looking up to? Like he's something special? Like he really working in the best interest of Americans? Come on, man. This dude is foul. He do all of this. And then we ain't gonna even mention the fact that he gave top secret information to the Russians inside the Oval Office. Man, the White House tainted, man. It's, it, it's really, man. It, 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 hey, man. When he get up out of that man, you can't even you can't even sterilize the White House. You gotta destroy it. You gotta just go, go just bomb it and build a whole brand new one because it's beyond tarnished. Nobody likes this dude. Not even his own wife. Melania Trump can't stand this dude. Even Melania. Lay around at night and she pray. She hoped for a dark and lovely Obama to come through there and make her feel better at night. She's hurting. She's hurting. She's lonely. She doesn't have a man. The man, at least, that she do have that she's married to. He's not understanding. He's not compassionate. He's not, he doesn't have a good sense of humor. These are all qualities that men have to have. It's not just being paid. See, some dudes make that mistake when they get paid and then they get lazy in those all those other departments that really, really keep a woman. You ever seen dudes with women? These dudes ain't got no money. Some dudes ain't got nothing. They always struggling, living paycheck to paycheck to paycheck. And they got that chick on, her, on their side. And man, she been lawyer for so long. They one just lawyer still riding with him. Totally faithful to him. That's because he got those other qualities. Those ones that count more than anything at the end of the day. Oh, yeah, money, a big deal. That's a big deal. But I know way too many women who are with men who got money and they step out on them and they have sex and they get their other needs met by men who don't really have money, don't really have nowhere near the kind of money that the men that they're married to have. But you don't see it the other way around. You don't see women who are 
committed and committed relationships to men who hardly have nothing dipping out and having full blown relationships with men who have everything. I mean, it happens, but it's, it's far more rare than the other way around. Trump has no respect. Nobody respects this dude. Our allies don't respect him. That's a problem. Some of you people local, you never been nowhere. You never been anywhere. You never been outside of the United States and you think the world begins and ends with the United States. You're wrong. You have to be able to have a leader who understands diplomacy. We don't have that. We're, the United States is a very small part of the world. Yes, we have a lot of influence, but look at that map and see how big the United States is and look at how big the rest of the world is. Some of y'all don't get it. I understand you've never been anywhere. The only kind of news you've ever watched was CNN, MSN, and ABC, Fox, CBS. I get it, I get it, I get it. You need to get out more though. Trump is a freaking nut. He's a liar. He's a sex offender. That's what he is. I know it hurts, man. I know it hurts. But Donald Trump makes George Bush looks, he looks, he makes George W. Bush looks like a genius. And he makes Nixon look like a Boy Scout. The fact is, you can't polish a turd. You can't Spray potpourri on a turd. Still gonna smell like a turd. You can't sprinkle gold glitter on a turd. You can't air out a turd. You can do all of those things and Donald Trump is still going to be a turd. Nobody likes him. That's the truth. And he's one of the worst, the worst presidents the United States has ever seen. No more talk. What, what the haters talking about? Yeah. Order, Texas.